The King Edward VII Stakes next is a one and a half mile group two for three year old Colts. Now it's the Ascot Derby, of course. Time of the Beast at the top for Joshua Sutherland, Tower of Strength, Jim Murray, Albus Dumbledore, Dan Hughes, Brailsford Glove for Derek Hinton, Kyber Pass, Paul Rhodes, Shaw Grease, James Shea, Swinging Groom, Martin Liam, Trap Miles, Darren Thompson, Tunbridge Wells, Paul Rhodes, Wassily Kadinsky for Leon Van Rensburg, and full time for Munas. It's like one of a filly in this. And. Away we go. Wassily Kandinsky, one of the first ones. Uh, time of the beast and full time also. And right on the far side, full time pulling for its head. He's trying to get across the defence. The jockey's trying to get it to settle. But time of the beast is not making things easy for it at the moment. Time of the beast then is just shading the lead from full time in second. And a gap of about three or four lengths back to Tower of Strength is in third, then Brailsford, Glove and Wassily Kandinsky, Swinging Groom is after that one, Kyber Pass and Tunbridge Wells looking to the back, Shaw Grease is just the back marker, Trapped Miles is running quite wide on the track as they head down towards the final mile in this one, and Time of the Beast leads the King Edward VII field from full time on the inside in second then Tower of Strength is back in third swinging grooms moved up on the outside in a fourth then Bradford Glow and Albus Dumbledore the grey on the rail then Tunbridge Wells Kyber Pass is in mid division the back three of Wassily Kandinsky Shaw Grease in the green and trapped Miles in the maroon with a white sleeve but this leading pair are still almost matching strides just about time of the beast in the lead by about a head and they lead by about four or five lengths the rest of them are just about headed by Tunbridge Well. Swinging Groom is also in that little line with Browsford Glove, Tara Strength, and Albus Dumbledore the ground inside. And then Kyber Pass trying to get into it as well. Would have just lost his place there is Wassily Kandinsky. Shaw Grease has got a lot of horses to try and run through. Trap Miles is trying to make a bit of a run through now as well as they start to swing into the straight. And it's Time of the Beast who's now clearing the lead by a couple from full time who's now being pressed by Tunbridge Wells for second. Now Albus Dumbledore comes out of the pack in fourth. Then Browsford Glove and Kyber Pass. Shaw Grease is winding his way through and he's going to need a little bit of a gap between Albus Thomas Dumbledore and Tunbridge Wells and it looks like he's going to get it as well. Time of the Beast though is still in the lead. Time of the Beast is a length and a half clear with two furlongs to go. Here comes Sean Grease. Albus Dumbledore and Kyber Pass. Tunbridge Wells is next. Trap Miles is trying to run on but now it's Sean Grease who hits the front. Sean Grease pokes its head in front. Time of the Beast tries to fight back. Albus Dumbledore looks beaten inside the final furlong. It's Sean Grease who's powering away. This is going to be another one for James Shea and Sean Grease is racing up towards the line to take the King Edward the seventh is Shaw Grease is going to take it from a fast finishing tower of strength in time of the beast full time Albus Dumbledore Tunbridge Wells and the James Shea wagon keeps on rolling the winner for him tower of strength was second for Jim Murray time of the beast third for Joshua Sutherland and full time for Munas was fourth. Not quite sure what we were doing, letting a filly run in that. Anyway, Albus Dumbledore was fifth for Dan Hughes.